Hey everybody, today we're going to look at the stem splitter and how we can use it to perhaps bend some rules and use some other people's drums as samples to inspire or to help us create our songs. Now, I have to put a big caveat at the beginning of this. I in no way endorse stealing people's work, whatever they've recorded. And perhaps this is really an experiment in looking at things that it can inspire you as you create your own. But um, certainly there is a huge sampling culture out there of people who are using other people's tracks in their work. So if you are doing that, make sure you're doing it through the, the legal ways of doing it, getting permission, uh, giving credit where credit is due, etc. Um, that being said, I'm just here to teach you the tools and I'm not promoting one thing or another. Use your best judgment, how you use these things. Okay. That being said, um, we're going to use a song off of Apple music. And so I'm going to work you, walk you through my workflow of how to do this. Uh, first and foremost, I'm setting up my phone. I have it plugged in via the charging cable in the audio MIDI setup, which is a utility you can get to inside your launch pad under utilities. Um, I have this loaded up. I have my phone connected. It automatically shows up as an option. I just clicked enable to turn it on as an audio interface. Awesome. That means now in logic, I can come through and set the input as my iPhone and anything that plays on my iPhone, um, in terms of music or sound will then come as an input into logic. Awesome. Um, so that's how I can just go through my library, pick a song. It can be my own music that's loaded on there. Could be anything that's in Apple music. Then because I think tempo based options are really important. I'm going to come up to where my project tempo menu is at the top of the screen and set this to auto automatic mode. That means it's going to listen for a recording. Uh, when you record audio, it's going to record the audio and then and analyze it for the tempo and actually set the tempo to match it. Okay. Now I'm going to play just a song. I'm not going to let you hear it because, um, of copyright issues until we get it actually separated out into the drums. And so what I'm going to do is start recording and then I'm going to push play on my phone and let the song come in. Okay. Um, I'm going to show, so it did that already. I'm going to say show the downbeat. And it looks like it took the tempo is 78 beats per minute. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It looks, I think it feels accurate. Yeah, it looks like it's on the downbeats. I'm not even going to push play on this for the moment. Um, I am going to then just slice out a measure of this. And... With that selected, go to my functions and do a stem splitter. I'm not going to use the bass, the other, or the vocals. I'm just going to split out the drums. And there we have the drums. So now I'm going to mute this track. Play the drums. Okay, so it's a part of the song that, uh, that may or may not be as relevant, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, it's in tempo. It may not be on the downbeats, but that's okay for what we're doing. Next, I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna say convert to new sampler track. I really like this as opposed to some of the other options we have. Uh, it does the transient markers and we can put it right into the drum machine designer, which is kind of nice. They're all one shots. And then we'll just do song split drum so I know which one we're looking at here. I'm going to say okay. 
And then I'm going to delete this little thing there. And we'll come right in and just turn this into a step sequencer. And I can clean these up if I want to, um, but right now I'm just going to leave them as they are. Let's see what else we have here. I'm using my keyboard now. Um, to kind of sort through which um which are the ones we're using. Yeah, we'll do that one there. Okay, so we got a simple pattern. Maybe I'll throw some of these on as well. A little hi-hat thing. And I'm going to expand this one down and do a couple note repeats here and there, which doubles up how many hits are happening with each individual thing. Let's pull up another instrument just so I can play along with it. So inspiration abounds, right? I get to use some sounds that maybe I didn't have access to or sounds that are interesting that I'm, you know, listening to in other places, but sounds that I get to then mangle up and do some things with them. This isn't the end of that. There's so much more we can do with this. Now that these are inside the actual drum machine designer, uh, we can come through and do modulation on them. We can change the pitch. We can add a filter, including not just some, um, you know, equalization type filters, band pass, low pass, high pass. But then we also have these ones that are called the creamy. Uh, we have amplitude overall level control. We have envelopes. And so we can come through and do all of that. On top of that, we also have all of the audio effects that we could ever want. And so perhaps doing something along the lines of um, like chroma glow to really warm this thing up could be interesting. And so I think that we don't want to ever just forget that we have some of these other tools that we can then manipulate some of those sounds. So I think that this is a really cool way to interact with other people's music, other people's ideas. Um, do be careful because if you are using something that is copyrighted and restricted with the rights, uh, you do have to give that credit or get permission. And so you want to make sure you're following all the rules. That being said, um, I guarantee in this one situation that the song that that came from will never be identified afterwards from the sample that I'm using. It would be impossible because even though it shares the sound of it, it is such an unexpected change uh, that it just would never be linked to that. It's, it would be impossible. So that is what it is in this case. I hope this was useful seeing a workflow of how the stem splitter uh, might be used uh, but I, like I said, do be careful and do things according to the law of what is expected in the music industry.